November sale in 2024, 25 horses sold for a million dollars or higher, uh, grossed 93, 94 million dollars. Just, you know, very, very, very competitive bidding. Uh, obviously, tremendous support, uh, literally from an international buying base. You know, our friends from Japan continue to be major supporters of this sale. We also saw, you know, European participation. We saw Australian participation. We saw strong American participation. Uh, so it was a, you know, a very broad market. When the stars line up, when they, you know, you lead a beautiful one in there and she has a good race record, or you lead a beautiful one in there and she's carrying, you know, a first or second foal and she's the right type, you know, the horses were like zooming past reserves. And other times it was very sticky to, to get to the reserve. And, you know, there was a, 27% RNA rate tonight. Uh, we'll get some of those horses sold tomorrow, and we'll update our results for that. But there will be some, you know, post-sale transactions. Her physic, she's a beautiful filly, and she's by Frank Hall, the best stallion in the world, Group One winner. I mean, she's uh, fantastic. We really can't take all the credit. I mean, all the credit goes to Seth Klarman and Chad Brown and Mike Ryan. They went over to Tattersall's and bought a beautiful filly and she won a grade one and we got a chance to sell the only grade one winner by Frankel and, and they've been the number one supporter since we started Elite, Chad and Seth. So um, we've been waiting a long time to get a breakout sale for them and uh, we didn't expect that. The reserve was half of that and uh, I know that when we saw some online bids, it was international participation, and then it looked like there was a bunch of uh, bids in front there, and it looked like the Japanese interests got locked on, and um, that was exciting.